this video, we're going to be installing a Tuss Sub-Zero UTV snowplow mount onto a Kawasaki Terex 4. This install will be the same for the Terex 4 750 and the Terex 4 800, which is what we're working on today. You can see we've got our machine up on some ramps and this is to better show the installation process. Raising your machine for the install is not necessary, but if you choose to raise your machine, make sure you safely support it to avoid causing any injury or damage to yourself or the machine. The first step of the install is to make sure all your hardware is accounted for. You'll find a complete parts list located on your provided set of instructions. So now moving on to the install, we're going to start by first pulling the bumper plate from the machine. This is a 2016 model, so it only uses two bolts to secure this piece into place. On the older models, you'll find that the bumper plate wraps up in front a little more, and it uses four bolts to secure it to the machine. So we're just going to go ahead and remove this. We're using a 10 millimeter socket and ratchet to do that. Once both those bolts have been removed, we can go ahead and pull that from the machine. The next thing we're gonna do is remove the front section of the skid plate. There's five bolts that hold this onto the machine and they're also just 10 millimeter head bolts. So we'll use that same tool to remove those five bolts and that'll allow us to pull that front section from the machine. And neither of those pieces will be reinstalled while we're running the plow mount on this machine. The next step is to move up and remove the two lower mounting bolts for the front bumper assembly. And we're using a 14 millimeter socket and ratchet to do that. Make sure you're keeping track of the hardware and parts that we've removed from the machine so you can reassemble it back to stock when you're not using your plow system. After both those bolts have been removed, we're ready to install the plow mount. So now we're going to position the plow mount up into place and align the upper mounting holes with the lower mounting points in the bumper. And then we'll take the two provided M10 by 35 millimeter bolts and slide each one of those through a flat washer and then through the upper mounting tab in the plow mount, through the lower bumper mount and into the frame. We're just going to leave both these bolts loose for now. Next, we're going to take the two provided straight clamps and position them into place over the frame on each side of the differential mount. And now we can move underneath and using the four provided M10 by 70 millimeter bolts and flat washers, we'll slide each one of those up through the mounting holes in the plow mount and into the straight clamps that we just put into place. Now that we have everything loosely assembled, we can go back through and tighten down all the hardware. Make sure that you're tightening down the lower bolts evenly so that the straight clamps stay parallel to the plow mount. After those four bolts are tight underneath, we can move up and tighten down the upper mounting bolts. After that, we're done with the install. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more how-to and instructional videos and visit www.rockymountainatvmc.com for all the parts and accessories that we carry for your side-by-side. -side. Thanks for watching.